Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Sim Airport Let's Play. Now, last time we finished off the calf by putting in some more flooring, more desks, more kiosks, and all that sort of stuff. Basically, we padded it out, we put some walls, bits of windows in, and I think it looks quite good. Today, we're going to be putting an arcade in. Now, we've got lots of room down here at the minute, there's plenty of space upstairs. Um, we've still got bits of room. We've got room for maybe a first class flight lounge and stuff like that. There's still plenty of space to put more stuff in. So, where can this arcade go? Well, I'm thinking it should go at the end here. Okay, you should have to go through things, arcades at the end, and uh, then you can come back and go to whatever you want to do. Now, where exactly shall it go? I was thinking it should just be down here at the bottom near the kitchen. But I'm not 100% sure. I kind of want to leave a bit of this area free. I might corner this bit off over here for some sort of... I don't know. I might, I might move the offices down the back here. Or if there's staff rooms later on and so forth. But this area back here, I definitely want to put an arcade. So, we're going to have a wall. And that wall is going to probably follow this one like this. Uh, but we're going to have gaps and windows. So... We'll have a wall of two, then we'll have a gap of four, so there is our gap of four. Oh, it would have been if I'd have done it right. Cancel that bit, there we go. And then we'll do the same down here, and then we'll do the same in the middle. So wall of two, gap of four, and then in the middle of that, which I think I'm just going to eyeball rather than count. Should I count it? You guys probably want me to count it, don't you? Let, let's let's use planning. So, uh, that is 20 to there, and that is 20 to there. Brilliant, there's the middle. So, uh, objects, construction, wall, that's the middle there. There we go. Brilliant, nice bit of planning. Clear this there we don't need that anymore so what I was thinking was is the the path uh, which I will plan which is gonna come off this path here that's weird I thought I'd clicked one of them doesn't matter what color it is let's get a bit of magenta going nice that can come in at three points like this um, that there we can put a path in later that kind of goes past the toilets maybe we'll see about that and then in the middle of this so we've got three that way and three that way that gives us a beautiful path beautiful gaps like that okay so the walls coming soon uh, let's get a flooring in now uh, what I was thinking was is we can use the same flooring that we used in the construction of the calf for the walking part and then we'll just use something completely different for the rest so let's get that in there like that here's the workman coming for the first bit of wall there we go now for inside the arcade we don't want stone we want carpet we want it to be a comfortable area so upstairs we've used um, wood and blue carpet I think red carpet for inside the arcade nice good section of red carpet brilliant now we've got all the carpet in nearly all the carpet now we've got all the carpet in and we've uh, done all the flooring and the walls we're going to get rid of that planning there we go now we can't see what it's doing yet but it will spring to life and it's doing so now as the workmen come in. Now, what can go in the arcade? Well, we're going to need things like... Uh, we're going to need an ATM. And we're going to need these arcade machines. So we'll put a few of them in various different places. We'll put some chairs and some tables in. And I'm thinking, in addition, we could put some plants in. A couple of vending machines, maybe. I don't know if they need to be in a kitchen area or not. Um, maybe a few fancy chairs and some vending. But... There we go. That's uh, our arcade area done. Now, if we want to, we could just put large sliding doors. Oh, yes, large sliding doors. Oh. Look what you went and did, Hellish. 
That's terrible. Large sliding door. We're going to have to go construction and wall now because I broke it. There we go. Now, should we put large sliding doors on everything? We'll figure that out later. Might do a bit of moving around. So in this middle section here, I want to put some windows so people can see into the arcade. There we go. So what I was thinking is relaxing stuff in these two sections and just machines and stuff all around the outside. So, let's do game, wow, game, 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 down that side. We'll do the same over here. There we go. Looks good. And then we're going to need some more here and some more here. But I'm wondering, we could probably get a few lots in, even leaving spaces. So, if we leave a gap, pop that one in there. There we go. Yeah, we can easily get them in. Easily get lots of them in. Now, are they the only four? I'm not sure, but we're about to find out. Because I'm going to... Ah, oh, wrong one. I put two of the... Ah, oh, no, wait. No, stop it. Cancel that one. Cancel that one. That was meant to be a retro arcade. There we go. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, we're getting there now. Cancel that one. Doors are coming in. And... There we go. So we've got a number of arcade machines in there. We're going to put a few th other things into. We're going to need some ATMs. So let's put a couple of ATMs in there. And this is where we're going to put the chairs in now. We want some really nice, comfortable chairs. Chair B looks very comfortable. Um, we want kind of comfy, lazy... Oh, fancy chair. Ooh, we could put a couple of fancy... Look at this fancy chair. Oh, that's a nice fancy chair. So, um, I'm thinking... We do this here. Just... No, no, stop it. Do a bit of seating like this. Do we want to swap around the different chairs? Have we got any two-seater, really nice two-seater chairs? Because that would be nice. Uh, we do have two-seater benches, but not really nice two-seater chairs. So, we'll stick with this. Uh, put that one in that way. There we go. Oh, I think these are all the different arcade machines being brought in. And then I was thinking we'd have a couple of little tables, little round calf tables. They're yeah, cute. Now what else can we have in our arcade? Uh, coffee makers. We do sometimes need coffee. But it needs to be in a kitchen. We've got coffee machines in our kitchen. I don't think we have, have we? Well, we have now. There we go. Now, it's the middle of the night, middle of the morning. There's hardly anybody in the airport at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, digital ad display. Definitely need to put advertising in. Um, whoa, hang on a minute. Must be placed in the arcade zone. Ho oh, ho! That's easy. Easy sorted. Where's the zoning tool for arcade? There it is. Uh, right. What does an arcade have to have in it? Just arcade machines, apparently. Brilliant. So what was it was looking at? <laughs> I got distracted. Uh, advertising standy thing. Digital ad display. So I'm thinking if we put a digital ad display here and here. There we go. That's good. And then they're going to need to still need to know when they're going to have to go out for their planes. Um, we need some vending machines in, so we'll have 
Uh, ATM, drink vendor, drink vendor, and then... Oh, no, wait, that's not a drink vendor, that's a drink machine. Cancel that. Drink vending. There we go. Drink vending. Blocked by arcade driver game. Hang on a minute. And we need a... Uh, that was drink vending. We need, also need food vending, which I just put in the wrong way. We get that in the right way around. And there we go. Flight info display screen. We'll have that here, right up against them vending machines. So that two big ones, so that they should be able to see it from pretty much anywhere. And I think we're pretty much done. A couple of garbage bins down the side somewhere. We'll put... We'll put one there, we'll put one there. That should be plenty. Should be plenty. Um, why have we got the complaints down here? Must be placed in arcade zone. Oh, that's right. The zone tool doesn't work if there is construction objects going on. So these bits here haven't been zoned as arcade yet. But they will be now. Brilliant. Wow, it's getting there. It's, it's looking good. Now, do we need any form of other facilities or decoration? That's the question. Uh, we could put more coffee tables in. Actually, a couple of a couple of extra little coffee tables next to some of the machines. Hang on a minute. They're the wrong machines. That should be a driving game. That one. Anyway, what I was saying was is sometimes you need a couple of tables near vending machines, so pe uh, near the games machines, so people can put their drinks and stuff down. So I'm going to put some there and there and there and there. The last thing you want is them balancing their pint on top of the arcade machine and they're giving it, they really thrust the joystick, the pint falls over, it goes down the back of the machine, uh, the machine uh, catches on fire, explodes, kills everybody within a five meter radius, the fire spreads, um, I don't know how because beer puts out fire, don't ask how I know that, and um, yeah, anyway, we don't want our airport burning down. So, one of these ones, it's this one up here, is the wrong one. So, we'll just quickly say, dismantle! And then we'll go, objects, driving game. And just before that, we'll actually go, increase priority! So, somebody just runs over here immediately and does it. I says, immediately and does it. There we go. Out! Get it out of there. Brilliant. And we'll put the arcade machine back in. It was the driving one. There it goes. Brilliant. So all the tape. Oh, people are in here already! Fantastic. They're coming in to use the arcade. Um, I haven't even finished yet. And they're walking around loving it. Um, we haven't got any plants. I feel like we need some plants. Decorative bush has to go outside. Um. I do like these decorative bushes, but... They, oh, hang on. This decorative tree can go inside. So, I'm thinking... On the corners here, here, and here. Brilliant. Yes. Looking good. Everybody's queuing up for this one machine, by the looks of it. But, despite there being two more over here... Uh, we've got all the digital ad displays and the flight infos in there. We've got our vending. We've got our garbage bins... We've got doors on it. Uh, we don't want a floodlight in the arcade machine. Phone charging station. That's what you need. You need your phone charging whilst you're playing on the game. So we'll put one of them either side of the flight displays. You can just st stick your phone in there. Let it charge. You can play games whilst the phone's charging. You can still see the flight info. Jobs are good. and Brilliant. And uh, I think I'm going to call that arcade area as good as done. I mean, it's not yet because we've still got those four trees to put in, but I'm sure somebody's on their way to do that very soon. Does appear to be quite popular with the uh, with the, uh, the clientele, the, the people coming to use the airport here. Uh, there's people sitting down even in the chairs, so they like the chairs, they like the arcade machines. I think that's brilliant. Plants are going in. Let's have a look. People think things are generally good. Apart from this person who thinks the environment is terrible. I disagree. I think it's a very nice environment. Um, 
Right then. So, we've got these losing. We've got the restrooms over here. We've got a calf. We've got an arcade machine. Let's just check on this aeroplane on here. We've got lots of people boarding there. Um, is there some sort of, like, statuses? Oh, here we go, look. Right. So these are the different flights of the day. So we've got... Um, Depart is meant to be 7.30. It went out at 6.40. So it went half an hour early, that one. It's a little bit early in the day to be looking at this list and seeing which flight's left on time or not. So we'll check that out at the end of the episode. We'll come back to that. How's our research doing? Brilliant. We finished our aviation ops, which allows us to configure runways to accept only departures or only arrivals. It's not something I want to do at the moment, but it might be something in the future. We've got product, uh, product um, tax and stuff down here. Credit reporting is one that we can do. Um, we've got a load of other stuff that's locked. Advanced security, advanced ticketing, uh, bag hub boosters and fuel ports are all stuff that will be coming quite soon because as soon as credit reporting is done we're going to be doing technology and then that will unlock that whole section there. Uh, right then, anything else? Let's just have a quick look at all the different areas of the airport. It is a busy 7... Four, uh, sorry, 7.25 in the morning, um, day 146. Ticketing is got quite a few people around. Some of the kiosks here are, are, are quite busy. Uh, some of the kiosks down here are quite busy. Don't know why, because all these ones down the back are available as well. They just seem to go to these front ones. I'm sure they would move further back if they need to. All the baggage is going through. That's all quite nice. We can see here that um, whilst... Um, security looks like it is uh, too big. It's actually only really just co coping with the flow rate of people coming through at the moment. So we haven't got massive queues. We've got little queues all the way down the row there, so that's good. A few extra body scanners in there because we believe that to be the slowdown point. I'm not 100% sure about that yet. Baggage claim looks a bit busy on some of the rails, but overall... I think is doing okay. We've got plenty of baggage carousels there. They should stagger themselves, just like the flights stagger themselves as well. People coming up here, that's the people that are arriving. They're doing quite well. There's a couple of restrooms down here. They're not too busy. They seem to be completely fine. The floor's a bit dirty, but apart from that, people are wandering down, wandering through, no problem. Um, these female restrooms over here are really busy. And these ones, not so much. Uh, we do have four restrooms for each gender. So we've got these two restrooms over here, these two down here, and then we've got the, the, the ones over here, which are for before you go through security. So we've got before security, we've got um, ones, we've got two in the main area, and then we've got these two downstairs once you've arrived. So really that should be fine. Garbage down here, looking good, all the dumpsters are fine. Lots of people at the pickups area, but they're still crossing the road and crossing um, the rail crossing, which I want to really avoid. If I put an underpass in with our escalators going down and up, I'm hoping they might stop. Can I put escalators on grass? Escalators. Escalator down. No, requires indoor area. So we'd have to have a little building here that comes... Oh, let's do that. We haven't got long, have we? We've, we've got a minute. Of, right, okay. Let's let's speed things up. We're going to put a building on the end here. Like uh, this. And then we're going to go downstairs. And we're going to do a foundation like that. And then we're going to bring it that foundation across into the main building like this okay build it quick let's come upstairs so the idea is is that we can put then an escalator some doors down here and another escalator here going down so people can instead of why are people coming in down here and walking up there where are they going where are all these people going into ticketing not quite sure why they all just went into ticketing. Never mind. So the workmen are coming in. 
I can't remember how many we got. We got loads. 50. We got 50 workmen. I think we need more food workers because of all the extra stuff we put in last episode. We got 74 security staff. 71 staff. I don't know how we got 71. But you can see there we are. There's all the foundations going in. We can put wall. Eh? Why can't... Oh, the walls are going in. Brilliant. The walls are going in. We want door. We'll have a sliding door. We, can we put a large one in at the end? Down here. Oh, it's not even. Oh, it's three wide. I just noticed it's three wide. It's fine. What I'll do... I don't want it three wide. Okay, let's get the escalator in first. Let's put a little door in. Door. Not, not, not door. Door. Sliding door. We'll put the sliding door in here. Which we can't do until the wall's been finished built. There we are. It's been finished built now. And then the escalator. Going down. Rotate that so it's facing the right way. Put that escalator in there. Wall, because I made this room too big. There we are, so they come up the escalator. Then that should... Yep, that will go this way. Perfect. There's the escalator. Sector cannot be vacated. Yeah, I know that, because we're going to go construction. And we're going to go clear that piece of wall there. And then we need an escalator going down up here. So, uh, objects, escalator... Escalator. Okay, there's an escalator down there. So if I rotate that and we go upstairs, put that there. Now I just realised that this here allows people to go downstairs and I don't want it to do that. I think it's pointing the wrong way. Let's demolish this wall. Uh, escalator up. So once they've got rid of this escalator, we'll put an escalator going up in. Oh, there we go. Rotate that round. And that's where it can go in. So we're going to go construction, put a little wall in at the back here. That one there too, then we'll demolish all this. And already, we've got people coming down. Look at it! It's working! Right, okay, so it is kind of working already. Let's uh, get some flooring in, because that looks horrible. We've still got a few people... Crossing the road by the looks of it. And I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can reduce that at all. It might be because there's people already waiting at the escalator to come up. But that has increased safety. I'm, I'm all... Look, look at them. Loads of people now using the escalator. Most of them, I think, are using that. The flooring's been put in. Uh, that wall's been put there. If the wall's been put there, can I demolish... Clear the foundation here. Mm. It'll let me do that wall there for some reason, but not these ones. Dead. Uh. No, don't know. Okay, never mind. That's not important. We have an underpass that probably needs a floor. Let's put a floor in. Let's just give a, a bit of a stone, standard stone floor. There we go. Oh, brilliant. So the underpass is in. I'm glad that we've increased safety. There's hardly anyone crossing the road or the railway line anymore. But everybody gets off the railway and crosses the road. Oh, that's it. I'll just step off the train onto the main road. Because the escalators only go one way. Ah. Wait, I've had an idea. 
But uh, that will have to wait until next episode. Let's have a look um, at how the arcade's getting along. Yep, lots of people in the arcade sitting down, chilling out, taking in the sights of everybody playing the games. There's a couple of arcade machines still free, which is brilliant. Tells me we've got enough machines in there. Uh, if we look at the flight statuses, we can see that it appears that... Oh, oh, did all of them go on? No, not all of them are going on time. So all of these ones back down here, they went on time. But we've got a few here that ran over just a little bit and ran over a lot. So this one, we've got a couple of oranges in. We've got three or four oranges in here, a couple of red ones. And then these ones over here seem to be at the gate at the minute. So I don't know how they're going. So some of them seem to be okay. Some of them are overrunning. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. I'm going to fix this um, platform, actually. I'll do it between now and next episode. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this escalator up to here. We're going to move the platform up. And then we're going to have an escalator going down and up there and then an escalator going this way for people coming in. They'll have to come in this way and then go up to ticketing, which is what those people were doing earlier. They were coming off the train. In fact, we'll put the platform up here. Uh, yes, and then an escalator that way. Ah, oh, that's going to be brilliant. I'm just going to move it. Same thing, but I'm going to move it and I'll show you that next time. But that's all from me. Leave all your thoughts, ideas and questions down in the comments section below and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.